Bonnet? Flying your own flag at last. Yes. Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir! A fair good borrow to you! Are you not lost? No! Are you not wanted by your wives? And families? And countrymen? How else to explain? Your government's complete disinterest in your well-being. Hostages for nonsense! These were my only terms. And yet... Six days of pure fucking sight. So I must conclude that you men are the pariahs of Charlestown, and I would profit better by using your organs for chum and your bones for char. My Christ! This is my predicament. To kill you, or to press you into my service. It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise, he says. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow. Else they spring something we ain't ready for. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet someone out there has prepared the medicines. Just in case. Ah, but they're stalling. Thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. Careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a watchtower. Jackdaw's got no business sailing some shallow waters. Starting. Put on some sail. There's another watchtower. We're half sail, Captain. Speed will do us no favors here. Careful with the banks. We cannot pass them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop!
I see them, over there. Let us hope the river remains this wide. This ship's built for the open ocean, not stalking bayous. Easy. If we run aground here, we may never get out. Be sure they don't spy us trailing them. Steady as she goes, Captain. Catch the wind. Clue up, shorten sail. They're getting away, Captain. Then I'll have to go on without her. I'll be back with the medicines. Aye, sir. Aye. Hunted down eventually. Every last one of them. Who's that there? Two old gators come for their supper. By the me old mucker. Warm tonight, isn't it? We talk about our weather another time, mate. Bit of a hurry. <laughs> Best end soon. Going land crazy. This dirty puddle won't fool. One would suppose all this is for gold. Old rum at least. Nothing but medicines to cure whatever ailment. Fester aboard their vessels. Triple it is scurvy, no doubt.
apologize, sir. There was an accident. Private Simon! This, this crocodile! I don't care about your accidents. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives, near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion! Ah! Shit! Stop. Alarm! Stop. Alarm! Stop. Intruder! Help! Help. He's Help. trying to give us the thing! Do something, you fool! Do something! Uh, oh. There you are! Help! Careful with the gunfighter barrel! Someone's not going to be happy! Kill him! Kill him! Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Ah, uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? You should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead. I, I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain. Another year. Now we'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. <laughs> <laughs> 